yeah, so, you know, like, we're recording now. All right. No? So, Ashy fam, how y'all doing? We are recording. Howdy doody, baby. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hey, welcome back. Man, this card, this, so we got the UK card coming up this weekend. So Same you're trying Patty's to try me, Gov? St. Patty's Day weekend, and we in the UK. A lot of notable names, all the UK names. What are your thoughts? So yeah, far? yeah. Um, before we get into it, a lot of people might not know who Patty the Batty is. He's probably the 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 guy on this card that you want to see, right? How would you describe this guy? Is he really the next coming of Conor McGregor? But from he's he's Irish, right? But he fights out of Liverpool. Am I right? I didn't think he was Irish. I thought he was just a Liverpool guy. Like I thought he was just like Michael Bisping, Patty. I mean, that's true. Let's see. What does it say on the trusty? UFC website. I'm not saying like he's uh I'm saying like, you know, he's Irish but fighting out of the UK. You know what I'm saying? It says hometown Liverpool. So I'm I think he's just a UK guy. Nationality? UFC doesn't do that much for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We figured <laughs> that out last time. So have you heard him talk? Yeah, he sounds like a a peaky blinder. Does he have he has the it factor right now? Like his his whole his whole thing, his whole thing, his following, he has a big following and he finally got to the UFC. His last fight give or take, his chin's up high. He ate some hits. He finished the dude, but he's a jujitsu guy, which is crazy, right? He is completely British, but yes, he is a jujitsu guy, supposedly. I've not seen it. And he blows up. He turns to Patty the Fatty, according to everybody else. Like he fights yeah. at 155, and supposedly he walks around at like 205. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. Supposedly he walks around like a middleweight and he looks it, but yeah. he he cuts down to 155, which looks like a natural weight class for him. He just <clears throat> likes his fish and chips. And yo, he's not even the guy that's the main event. The main event is Tom Aspinall, aka uh, Frank Mir Jr. But either way, the- we could get into this card now, Brian. <clears throat> I'm looking at. The the bottom of the roster right now. Basically, this entire card looks like UK versus Russia. Oh, it's like they're not even at war or nothing. This is a little little skirmish. I I guess it's because the main event, and obviously, <clears throat> if they're in London, if Volkov, because the main event's Aspinall versus Volkov. We'll get to that in a second. But <clears throat> I would imagine a lot of the Russians are coming over from because of Volkov. There's a lot of um there's a good bit of Russian fighters on this card, including the opening Cody Durden versus Mohammed Mokev. Mokev is minus four hundred on some sites. Um Ellis Reed, Corey McKenna, Corey's Minus 265. The fight that I'm most interested in is Tamir Valaev or Valaev. I'm going to go with Valaev versus Jack Shore. Jack Shore, as we speak, is minus 110 from what I'm seeing. And <clears throat> according to some sources, I'm sorry, close to me, crazy. that man was plus 200 to start the week. 
Is that is that true? Is their sources correct? These sources were very accurate, and I guess the money was like, hold up, hold up. Let's make this right. And on top of that, the weight class was not supposed to be bantamweight. weight. From the outside looking in, I, somebody's not telling the truth. Mm. I'm just mm. going off what I was told. What's your I impression? wish I would have got on that bet when it was like plus 375 or whatever crazy number it was with Jack Shore. Because this boy is undefeated. And I thought he was fighting at featherweight, but it's, it's bantamweight now, so... Uh-oh. You feeling it? We'll see what happens. I mean, that's a big... That's, 10 pounds is a lot. 10 pounds don't hey. sound a lot in the real world for uh, normal people to lose weight. But when you got no body fat and you're out here cutting muscle and dehydrating yourself to make weight, that's a lot of weight. <clears throat> Plus four fights in the last two years... Four wins in the UFC, half of those subs. Not a terrible record. Underdog. And he was an underdog. Vegas ain't get it right. They fucked up. They probably thought his name was like Jack Soar or something. They probably had the wrong name. They saw Tank on there and they thought Tank Abbott. Oh my God. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> But besides that fight, we got uh, a really big fight in the light heavyweight division. And that's a division that's kind of stale right now. They had, a, they had some spice. I mean, they got some um, some up-and-comers. I mean, the, the top five, well, top three, I would say it's pretty, I mean, it's currently, legit. Currently active with the light heavyweight division. There's like a lot of dudes that are not in the top 10 or making their way in the top 10 that's doing things in my opinion like they, they don't have a lot of activity that's the thing mm-hmm. with light heavyweight it's not like every other week you got somebody like with lightweight or featherweight or welterweight that's doing something crazy like main event wise how many main events on the paper view have you seen that's been a light heavyweight titles Besides Glover and Jan Blahovitz fighting, how long has it been? I mean, Jamal Hill's recent one. That's a fight night. I'm talking about pay-per-views. Oh, for pay-per-view? Oh, yeah, just titles. Yeah, it's, it. like, it's crazy, <clears throat> right? It's crazy. Like, Or even a co-main event for uh, like heavyweight. We won't have those. Yeah, the boys are like, they're just like heavyweights. They're just smaller, basically. Like yeah. the name implies, like heavyweight. Like it's crazy. But you had John Jones fighting like three times a year. John Jones was fighting once every two years or three years because he was always suspended. Besides that, when he wasn't in trouble. You know what I mean? When we had young John Jones. It was a different I think it was a different era too. Like in that in that time like oh, no, there was a murderer's row. Well yeah, it was deep. Right. Like it was deep. I mean, it's still deep. No, not like that though. Not former champions on the the top ten can, list. Light heavyweight ain't deep, bro. You could just stand up and it's like waist high. Well, the man cleaned yeah. out the division though to make it not deep. Well, I'm saying at the time when he was active and fighting three or four fights a year, it was deep. It was deep, but he right. cleaned it out. Yeah. He was he did, doctor, he, bro. I wouldn't even say really is just that he cleaned it out because the the obvious point about it is even after John Jones left and then DC left, once John Jones and DC left the division, it's just been stale. Let's be honest. It's been pretty stale and it's not like all the other divisions where you got rid of Anderson Silva and then all of a sudden it became like one of the most exciting divisions. You get you get rid of GSP and then it became one of the most exciting divisions because all this talent is just popping off. Lightweight's just been lukewarm. <clears throat> yeah, light heavyweight. 
for a while. Or light was, heavyweight, sorry. Yeah. Was the premier division in the whole sport? It was. It was Chuck. It was like Tito. Mm-hmm. Evans, Rampage. You can name. You can go on and on. I mean, it was like the list of names. They were the stars. Even well, yeah, because like you, Machida was in that era as well. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Two hundred five. And then at the time, so was John Jones, so was Ryan Bader. It was a very, very deep 205 list. Shogun. Mm-hmm. Dude. I mean, we, it's, and we can go, we go on. All them. Yeah. Yes. Which is crazy, yeah. man. But we won't talk about that. We'll just get to Not the mention, Krylov we, against Paul Craig fight. Right. Um, and look, this is another, this is another one. Um, I guess Englishman versus Russian guy got uh, Nikita Krylov taking on Paul Craig. Krylov, you don't want to call him Russian right now. Mm, Whatever, he's He's Ukrainian, (laughs) so I don't think he'd go with uh, Russian very well. Oh wait, 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 Nikita Nikita Krylov, um, Ukrainian or Paul Craig? No, Nikita Krylov is. Oh shit! There might be some. Hey man, there might be some beef in the locker rooms, bro. I just thought about that. There's some Russians on this card. Yeah. You seen what happened with uh Peter Jan's uh visas for his team? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. He's trying to recruit right now. Habib Get might it. be his uh corner man. O'Malley asked for it. What? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. on Twitter. What? What yeah. do you mean? What do you mean? He's, he responded to him on Twitter. He said, Yo, I'll be your corner man. Basically, I don't know if he was trolling, but he said that he already I'm said sure he'll knock out Peter Yan on his own little podcast. Okay, yeah, that's what I said. I was like, I'm here. For, I'm here for it. I mean, do what you I'll do. Take that believe fight. what you believe. Exactly. I watch um, every minute of that domination. How do you think uh, Krylov versus Paul Craig goes down? Who you got in that one? It's a good matchup, man. Great matchup, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna believe in my man, Paul Craig, though. That. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna go with Paul Craig. I, I'm I'm a fan of Krylov too, but I think it's the up and comer that's gonna take this one. You'll be picking the underdog if you did. Um, plus 155 for Paul Craig from where I see on certain sites. Um, that's the next fight after that is uh, woo, this is a lot of continents, bro. Uh, <laughs> you want to give it a shot? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Shamil, Shamil, Abdurakimov, Abdurakimov. That's a long ass last name. A B. D U R A K H I M O V. Abduhermov. Yeah, what you just said. Yeah, Shamil. Shamil. <laughs> Shamil. Abduhermov. Shamil. Abduhermov, bro. I got Raheem. You. Raheem. It's Shamil Abduhermov. I got you, man. It's easy peasy. When you easy talk peasy. slow. Rock him off. Abduhermov. Yeah. You just said it. Yeah. So well, you think Abdul Rakamov, bro. It's easy. You think what you think um Abdul's gonna do to Sergey? Sergey. Sergey? Sergey Pavlovich. Man, it's a heavy Pav- fight, bro. Sergey is a minus three hundred fave. Man, it's a heavyweight fight. That's all okay. I gotta say. It's a heavyweight fight. Alright, over under one and a half rounds. I like two. I like two. Two whole rounds. Over, over over one and a half. <sighs> Fuck. So if it's going two, it's going over one and a half. I know, I know. I like two solid rounds. That's the hard part. And it, it, could, it could end in under two. That's the thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's coin flip. You no did say it was a heavyweight fight. It's, you say it was heavyweight. I mean, bro, it's like Let's say under. Under? Under mm-hmm. one and a half? That feels good. Can Sergey I, by knockout. Can, can uh, I get uh, under three? Yeah, you can bet. It won't go three. It won't go three. 
No, you can bet that it will be be done I'll in say under, under three. You can bet that it won't be done in under a distance. Like it, it will not go three. You can bet no, that. No, no, no. Oh yeah, it is. It's not a five round fight. Fuck. Three. It won't yeah, go three. to the third round. It, it, it's you can do that. Third round. You can go under. Round. You can go under three. I like under the third round. Me too, but I think it'll end in the first half of the second. Okay. That yeah, that's that's fair. Uh, by what I'm looking at, that is a favorite. Under one and a half rounds is a favorite. Minus one fifty five for under one and a half rounds. Um. Damn, Amir Khani is fighting on this one too, and he's fighting Mike Mike Grundy. Oh, Good old gosh. Mike Grundy, Solomon Grundy. <laughs> mm hmm. Um. Miracani is a plus 55 dog. How do you feel about that versus Mike Grundy? You feel anything at all? Or? This one's a toss-up for me. They're both, they both always come to fight. They're brawlers. It could go either way, in my opinion. Did you see that little scuffle between um, Patty and Tapuria? Yes, I did. That boy That's threw the, the hand whole sanitizer. bottle of hand sanitizer at him. Yeah. I wonder if it was, like, flavored or scented. <laughs> flavored, bro? Tasted yeah. like rubbing alcohol, probably. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. You ain't going to so, eat, eat it, but you know what I mean. It's got a, a scent to it, right? It's got yeah. a scent. Yeah, it, blueberry. It, it might have been lemon, strawberry, uh, linen, citrus. clean linen. You know what I'm saying? Uh, lavender. I don't know, but bro, nope. he hit that motherfucker hard as fuck with that shit. But then he threw them them fucking hooks. Yeah. Well, nothing landed, and but this does add to some um That's some intrigue later on down the road. That's probably next yeah. fight. If the UFC is smart, bro, yeah. you just got marketing without I mean, having to do marketing. There's a reason why that footage got released. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, so I think they're already on top of it. Yep. Um, it, it, well, it. It got released and removed. Well, Tapuria is taking on Jay yeah. Herbert. From what I heard, that boy is, uh, has issues cutting weight. Which one? Uh, I don't know how to pronounce his first name. How you, how you pronounce yeah, I... it? Not Patty. Yeah, ye how you say his name? You know are those name? eyes? Are those eyes or L's? Yeah, Hi. yeah, yeah. <laughs> How do you say his name? How do you say his name? I don't. Which one are you trying to? Taporia. What are you talking about? Taporia. Oh, how his do you first say his name? first name? Ila, Ila, Ilia, Ilia, Ilia. Or is I don't know how to say it. He's Georgian, and he uh, don't like if you disrespect them. So I don't want to disrespect them. I don't. I don't want to well, get beat up, bro. This show is kings of destroying names, so I'm gonna go with Ilya Tempora. Tempora? Is he Tempora. the biggest? Is he the biggest favorite on the card? Minus five ninety. Let's Probably. Five fifty. Bro. <clears throat> yeah. He is. Not by much though, because Patty's got a minus five fifty. Oh, and it's a lightweight bout. I thought he was fighting at featherweight. No, no, I think he always fights at lightweight. So he is the uh, the guy that's holding the keys to the top fifteen. You beat him, you're in there. Let's mm. see how well he does. I don't really know much about him besides the whole hand sanitizer incident. To be honest with you, and that he had a tough time making one forty five. That's why he's fighting at lightweight. So. I know he has power. Ain't those combinations. I know that. Yo, them Georgia dudes. I don't even. Georgians? How do you say it? Because uh, Giga. Giga got that power. But Yeah, great, great kicks. Them boys. They coming in deep with them. Yeah, I don't we'll know see what happens. About these guys. Yeah, them Georgia dudes. Not, not the state. The country. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Now where Atlanta's at, the country. Yeah, this is ba- this is basically like Eastern Europe versus the UK. Yeah. Um, yeah. But no, it's basically everybody versus UK. They ain't got no Brazilians on here, do they? They got a Japanese. Nah, 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 nah. This Vargas cat. Where's he from? Yeah, well, I was going to say, I, that was the only guy I saw that maybe, maybe from Brazil. Okay. But I don't think. Chico. Okay, he Mexico. Mexico? Yeah. Meatball Molly taking on Luana Carolina. That girl's a scrapper. Carolina? He's a scrapper and always entertaining. That girl's a scrapper, bro. I can't wait to, to Ma- watch her fight. Molly? Molly yeah. McCann? Yep. Meatball? Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. She a scrapper, bro. I won't like bet it. nothing on though. I won't bet nothing on it. She live or die. This is also a good matchup. It should be a good scrap, which is what they're hoping for. So, I don't hate it. I don't know who's going to win it. Exactly. I think they're both pretty equally it, talented. It's, it's going to be a scrap. Yeah. I feel like that's the the name of this card, actually, though. It's a pretty fair fight for most fights. I know there's some big dogs on here, but on paper, a lot of these people are pretty evenly matched. I'm having a hard time figuring out how Gunnar Nelson is minus 500 versus Takashi Sato, but he is. And he is. Uh, I put. I can unit see on it. Him. I honestly, I put a quarter unit on Sato and Vargas. Honestly, like twenty bucks, either one. Hmm. Just cause those odds are like really good. I would say that Gunner's just fought better competition, even though he hasn't fought in two years. Yeah, two years. You know, he's a, he's a pre-COVID fighter. I legit thought he got cut from the roster because he's quiet and no one's talked about him. He looked like so. uh, the quarterback from the Raiders, to be honest with you. Maybe that's where he's been. He's been playing football the whole time. I would congratulate him then, because yeah. the Raiders did decent last year. What's uh, what's his name? The Raiders quarterback, the dude that looked like he's from uh, Toy Story, grown up. Carr. Yeah, De- Derek Carr. Carr. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's Derek Carr. Yeah, that's what Gunnar Nelson looks like, like a buff <laughs> version of him. <laughs> Tell, me you don't. Tell me don't. Tell me you don't. Muscle Tell car. me don't. Muscle car. Look him up. I'm bullshitting, bro. <laughs> but he do look like him, though. <laughs> he do look like him. Well, listen, the, the 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 fight that I'm most interested in really is Arnold Allen versus Dan Hooker. That's the fight I'm most interested in. Hold on, you skipped over the Coco main event. I didn't. I didn't skip over P- Patty Pimlet um, versus he's Rodrigo. Not the, he's not the co-main event, though. Who did I skip over? You Where's didn't it? skip over Patty the Batty. I did. Oh, you want to talk about him after this one? Well, be- didn't we talk about him at the outset of the show? We did because you know he's like the the hype magnet right now. Right. But we I can go to Arnold. Allen. I like Arnold Allen over Dan Hooker. He's a favorite. Game. He's um one, minus one twenty five. Um. Bro, I feel like Dan Hooker to me is like the Saints in the playoffs. They just let you down, bro. Ouch. This man, this man. Yeah, I, 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 I've retired betting money on Dan Hooker. He's got all the tools, all the weapons on the, all the players on the field. But they just can't bring it in. Hold up, pretty much. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. up. I'm also a Saints fan, so hold up. Okay. We got robbed in 2018. Okay. He got robbed against Dustin Poirier. 
Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> That's like saying he got robbed against uh what's the little dude's name? Ross Perot looking dude. Damn, what's the name? <laughs> He's fighting that? Tony uh Chandler. No. Michael Chandler. Oh, he didn't get robbed of that. He got That's what I'm saying. It's like he got robbed there. Bro, Dan Hooker, he just takes too much damage and he knows it, bro. There's a difference between getting beat and then getting robbed. There's a difference. He gets beat the fuck up. Tell me one fight that Dan Hooker got robbed in when it went to decision. Were you going to say he got robbed when he lost to Barbosa? (laughs) <laughs> okay, okay, I thought so. <laughs> all I'm, all I'm saying is Dan Hooker will not. I, I'm not cash a, a punching the ticket with his name on it. I would not four, bet no four. units on him, bro. Well, no four, four. I'll bet against them all. Well, man. actually, actually, I would bet. Well, no, he's not. He's not giving you no odds or nothing. If he was like giving you some odds, I might bet on him. Like if he was like plus one sixty or something or better. I might bet half a unit on him or something. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I wouldn't I bet want... nothing on him, though. Uh, minus 105? Hell no. That's And that yeah. means that's your guy. You know what I'm saying? That's your guy. But this Arnold Allen, dude, he's a, like, he might be on the uh, second longest win streak in featherweight division right now. Or actually the longest featherweight win streak besides, uh, what's his champion's name? Volkanovski. Oak. Yeah, Volk is balling. And Arnold Allen, he's definitely on the incline. He's got to like, be number is... two. He's got to be number two in streaks right now, or number one. one or the he's, good. he's really good, too. He's solid everywhere, man. I, I like him a lot. And I think um, when you start seeing guys drop down lower and lower weight classes and, you know, um, at in the middle of their career or toward the end, that's usually not a good sign when they start dropping. Like you usually see guys toward the, um, that have veteran experience move up, usually because it becomes a little bit harder to make the weight. But when you start seeing them come down, it's for one of two reasons: it's either they're on a, on a losing streak and they're trying to like you know be the bigger guy, or they're chasing. A title and a small weight. True that. Such as, give me, give me an example of when that's not the case. Uh, this cat named uh, Jose Aldo. Yeah, he lost the featherweight title a bunch of times. Like he, um, he went down in weight and fought for the title. That's that's well, what I said. They, they, one of the reasons I said is like they might be chasing the title, chasing the title or dropping because they're on a losing streak. Aldo was yeah. on both. <laughs> yeah, but he went up and fought for the title. A lot of guys don't drop down and wait and fight for a title after that, though. He's mm-hmm. the exception, I feel. He's also a, a Hall of Fame t- talent, so it's not oh, like period. comparing him Yeah, comparing him to like the whole league is unfair. He's probably the outlier, but he's right yeah. back at the point where he will fight for the title again with a win. Right. Depends on I mean. who he fights next. He's to a be mother- fair, you could say the same thing about Frankie Edgar, though. He was right there, always at a title contention until he dropped down to bantamweight. But that was way too long in his career. Frankie Edgar, yeah, he's good. He's good. I got nothing bad to say. You can't ever take it away from him. He won a title in a weight division. He never should have won a title in. He was two divisions up. That's what I was going to say. But he should never. He should never have been at like. He should have been at like. 35, like, 10 years ago. Yeah, yeah he, he should have been fighting weight. at featherweight he never and then eventually dropping down to 35. He never wanted to cut weight. He cut, like, five pounds for every fight or something like that. He just went in the sauna real quick. You know yeah. He just stopped I think I think he walked night. around at, like, 165 or something like that. Because, bro, he's shorter than true. all of us. He's smaller than all of us, like, literally. Like, he's... I don't know how... Tall he is, but he's a short guy. <clears throat> but Aldo's like our height, and he's killing it. He's an outlier, I guess you could say. He's definitely an outlier. He's one. He's an Hall of Fame talent, man. And 
for for Aldo's sake, I mean not for Aldo's sake, I'm sorry, for Dan Hooker's sake, I'm not saying that he is finished, but goddamn, bro, like you better start checking the temperature and start like tasting the sauce because he's been he's been getting some like you say, he takes a lot of damage. Dan Hooker does. And I mean, it's not like you're going to a le- a less a less talented division. Forty five is hungry, full of lions, full of killers. So if you cutting weight and losing all this weight and draining yourself in order to compete, I don't know if that's the right move versus these these guys. He was already there before, and he had issues making weight. Yes, but he had issues making weight. But the thing with that, that's where that whole weight cutting thing and the weight classes matter that we've been talking about for so long, mm-hmm. the whole 10-pound increments. Like, well, actually, not for this guy. Not for this guy. <laughs> no, no, no. He's, no. <laughs> he's 55 going down to 45. But say, like, could he, like, kill it at 65? No. Wait, yeah. how? How? He couldn't what? kill it at 55. I see. Yeah. What, what if the weight cut is that bad on him, like, in general? That so I don't goes... think the weight cut to 55 is that bad for him, though. But I'm saying, like, what if just weight cut in general is, like, bad for him? You know? And yeah, I would, I would say 65 I would, would be like a better spot for him to where he's not as drained compared to like cutting down to 50. What if he walks around at like 190? We don't know. Well, then no, he walks around around 170, 165 is what he walks around at. So that's that's prime for 155. Dude, he's big as hell. He is. There's, six no, way, foot. there's no way he's walking around at that much because I walk around like right now at 170. <laughs> and I'm not six feet tall. You also ain't as lean as he is. <laughs> but I'm saying, like, bro, you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> Um It's not just size though for me. It's like for as far as this Dan Hooker case is concerned. It might be hard for him to cut weight. That's I thing. think it's That's I think it's I think it's just damage accumulated to Oh yeah. There's yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. dude. His fight, his 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 fight against Barbosa, he probably lost at least twenty five brain cells, maybe more. <laughs> I don't know. How you how would you get them? How would you calculate that? Because brain cells are very rare to uh, have, and the more you lose, the more you don't gain. So, so you saw- <laughs> okay. I saw that fight. <laughs> Hey, my man, my boy I'm going to have to refill my drink on that one. My boy exactly. said, you know, hard to have. Yeah. Therefore, what he did. Yeah, he, he, he lost a lot. <laughs> I got to see the work. I got to see, like, the, I got to see it written down. You don't remember that fight against, oh, you need a formula. Okay. I need the brain cell okay. formula. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, brain cell I'll, formula, I'll have sure. my uh, scientist send it to you. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> man. Like I said, I, I'm a big fan. The thing about that that hurts about this about this whole situation of even mentioning the, the decline of Dan Hooker is because I'm such a fan of his, and I've been cheering for him for so long, and it's just I've been having some brutal weekends cheering for and betting on Dan Hooker. I'm a fan. I like his style. I like him. Um, but just as far as betting's concerned, nah, player. Nah. I won't do it. Um, Godspeed, Arnold Allen, because that's why I'm going to go with. And um, no hard feelings, Dan. I'm just saying, like, I, 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 him and Barbosa, it's funny you mentioned him getting beat by Barbosa, but they're, to me, they're the same guy as far as betting is concerned. Like, if you hate money, bet on them. If you hate money. I feel like you're speaking off of uh, a previous bet. In big spots, they always flop, bro. In big spots. Both of them always. I've never seen either one of those. I mean, it's rare that either one of these guys win a big fight. You know about him going against Arnold Allen, the guy who's undefeated, got all this steam in his backyard? Nah, dog. 
I'm taking Aaron Allen, and I, I would be willing to put um, a large wager on that. I think he's going to fucking smoke Dan Hooker, personally speaking. I agree. I think Aaron Allen's going to have a dominant performance against Hooker. I don't like Hooker at featherweight at all. 145 for him, I think, is just too much of a cut. Uh, I think one of the advantages he did have at lightweight was he was a little faster than some people. He's not going to have that advantage at featherweight. And he's hittable, and he has Barboza syndrome where he doesn't know how to defend takedowns the greatest. So, I don't think this is going to go good for him. Takes a lot of punishment as well. Yeah, I think he's going to get ground and pounded. Mm-hmm. Even if it stays standing, he still takes punishment, bro. For real. Right. Listen, like, I don't want to... Um, they they don't throw it in a towel, bro. I don't, I don't want to beat a dead hooker. But I will say this, dog. To me, Dan, out of that whole um, crew, that whole, like, uh, city Australian city. crew, yeah, to me, like, every time I hear any reports... It's always about how tough he is and about how much he gives everybody hell in the gym. And I think guys like that might leave their best portions of themselves in the gym. Like he might, by the time he gets to the the, the, the fight, I think he's already had so many wars that that's just, um, you're, you're getting a diminished version of what you would get. My question is, even if he made it to the championship, would he actually fight for it? Like, because his boy is the champ. You think they would fight each other for it? Yeah. Or is think, it, or you think, think he's hoping that Zombie's going to win? I don't think he's got a way to make it to a 145 title shot. Neither do I. I, I see a lot of people in the top... The division that destroys Hooker, to be honest. In order for Dan Hooker to make it to the 45 division title, he would have to win multiple fights in a row, and that's not him. He and that he's guy. got, like, tall tasks in front of him to win that one. He yeah. got to be Ortega at the, the least. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you don't think he has a good shot against Max? No. And see another Calvin Cater type fight? Another Ortega <laughs> type fight? Worse. How, how many of the shots can you absorb? Who wants to break the record? Might be worse. <laughs> I, I see him in a good fight with Zombie, actually. That's entertaining. I see a good fight with zombies. Calvin Cater. They're both zombies. I, I like Calvin Cater for like a late rally KO. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. Like, wow. uh, if it's a five round fight, like a fourth or fifth round. KO. I was gonna say Calvin Cater by U UD, but we Yo, know KO. What do you think about what do you think about um this main though? Aspinall versus uh Oh you Volkov. you're talking about uh Frank Mears Jr. Yeah. Fuck yeah. FMJ taking on this guy is Russian. Shit, bro. How's he Can you answer this for me? How is the number six guy that's proven the underdog? He's Isn't he on a losing streak? To who, though? To who? Cyril Gan, the guy that just fought uh, for the title? He well, has one win since then. He did beat Tybura. Okay. Yeah. Well, look at well, look what one is. I think it's because it's in England. Um, but. Aspinall is extremely athletic, and he's not – he's a pretty big heavyweight, too, as far as his height's concerned. I think he's like 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, it's his biggest he's, fight, though. He's still – well, he's still going to be punching up because Volkov is, what, 6'7"? I think he's the tallest heavyweight in, on the roster. Volkov's good, yeah. man. He's no, he's no dummy. You got to beat him, like, straight up. You got to be better than him to beat him. You think do you think Aspinall's better? If actually, if he could get him to the ground, it's a wrap. I feel. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, Curtis Blades literally laid him prayed on this guy. Yes. Blades is a wrestler though. Aspinall isn't. But he laid him prayed on him. 
No, but it's, it's a difference. As, uh, Kurt, Curtis Blades is a huge wrestler and probably the best wrestler at heavyweight outside of like Cormier and Stipe. Espinal has a great ground and pound. Or not a uh, great ground game. So it won't be a lay and pray. It might be a uh, take you down, take your arm home. Okay. Well, it might be take easier said than home. done. It yeah, might be. That might, that's, that's a lot easier said than done because, I mean, Volkov what? doesn't have bad takedown defense. Curtis Blades yeah, is strong, but though. Curtis Blades is a – he's an elite strong wrestler. Though. He's strong. He's a, well, he's an elite wrestler. has a 100% takedown at, uh, effective this he, he's, he's only tried he's two strong. but he got 100 percent of them so he's super two he's super two it's gonna be he's a good matchup two. bro it's gonna be a good matchup. <laughs> no it's gonna be a great matchup actually uh it, it really will i do think that frank Mir jr has some good hands uh it will really test his stand-up striking in this fight i like it for that fact but if he does throw some takedowns in there and he can get volkov to the ground it's a wrap what if Volkov takes him down? If Volkov takes him down, that's different. He also has a hundred percent takedown defense. Something's gotta give. So he's gonna lose one of those. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. Like Volkov, yeah, he might have got slept by Derek Lewis with like two seconds left in the fight, but he dominated the whole fight. Am I right? The- yeah, he was definitely winning that whole fight before he got slept, slept. Yeah, he, my balls was hot. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But Tom Aspinall, this is his biggest test, straight up. So he might bring out something that we're not ready to see or, so, or that we haven't seen. I will say standing up, standing up. It's going to be volume versus picked out shots is what's going to happen here. Because Aspinall is pretty accurate, but he sh- he throws almost eight strikes per minute. That's double the output of Volkov's. And he has half as many strikes absorbed. Where Volkov's at three per minute, and he's only at 1.5, I think it was. So, he might get him in the striking, too, on paper. We'll have to see what Volkov shows up. Sometimes I feel like Volkov just doesn't show up to the fight. I think the hardest thing for Volkov is going in uh, enemy territory and, like, doing successful, honestly. And I'm not even saying that, like, war terms, because where we're at right now in the world. I'm just talking about, like, the crowd. Where are they fighting at? The UK, right? Yeah, they fight in London. The O2 London. Arena, I don't know exactly what city that's in, but I'm pretty sure he's going to get, like, beer cups thrown at him. I wouldn't do that because them 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 cups of beer cost a lot of money, and I'm cheap. So I would probably drink the, the cup of beer before I tossed it at him. But either way, he's going to get full cups of beer tossed at him. Them pints. That's what they're going to say. They're going to be tossing them pints at this man. So, I think that might affect his mental capacity. It might make him mad. And it might mess up his game in the octagon when he gets in there. Fair. I like this. I, 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 I guarantee you at least one pint will be thrown at him. Because that's what they call it, right? Over there, pints. They don't say cups, right? They them pints. I got a pint. I mean, technically, we deal in pints, too. We just don't say it. We just call it a beer. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's beer, man. Not a pint. Because we're sophisticated. I'm going to throw this pint <laughs> at this guy. <laughs> They're going to call a wanker. The numbers are close on this one. It's yeah. minus minus one hundred five to minus one twenty five. So it's not like there's an overwhelming favorite. This, this is pretty much pick them for the most part. I mean, obviously a favorite is uh, Allen, and I think that home field advantage 
<clears throat> maybe give him the extra edge as it pertains to like his minus 125 status. <sighs> I'm leaning with I like I like Aspinall a lot as a prospect. And I usually don't pick against my guys. I just ride with them until they prove otherwise. Um I just feel like for some reason I feel like Volkov's gonna get his hand raised. I don't know. I don't I don't know. I can't really put my hand on it. Gut feeling. Yeah. I feel like somehow he's gonna pull off a decision. I can see it. Cause he's so and he can also straight up just sleep Aspinall. This is a step up this is a step up in competition for him. Pretty big. And Volkov is is deserves to be in the top ten. Like he has that the ability. Like it's not like he like you said, the, the fights that he does lose, it's two guys that are championship material. He's not he's oh. like what's up? I was like, I think Volkov is in the top ten. Isn't he ranked eight? Six. No, I mean he deserve he deserves that. Like he. Oh, okay. I was like, I, I could have swore he was top ten. <laughs> no, he don't lose in the scrubs. He don't lose in the scrubs. <laughs> right, right. You know what I'm saying? Like he his ranking ain't there because there's they just need ten guys to fill a name. Yeah. He deserves to be in that because he's. I think he's very, very talented, and physically speaking, it is a lot to overcome from a lot of guys facing him because of the reach, and you got to punch up. Um. And especially all the other taller heavyweights, like Aspinall's not usually staring up at an opponent. He's six foot five or six foot four, so usually it's eye to eye or, or down. And now he's fighting a, a, a bigger guy that's also um, a very technical kickboxer. So you're right. I mean, the game plan may be to make it dirty, make it make it grindy, make it um a nasty up against the cage type deal. And if if that's the game plan and that can and that can he can get the fight there easier said than done, then yeah, I think he does have a, a, a legit shot. Man, Tom Espinal is very athletic. He has good power. Um good good ground, good ground and pound. He's just unproven. And at the in, at the beginning of when we're doing a freshman the beginning of the season uh, I, mean, I believe last year when we talked about um, all the heavyweights, that was the guy that I was saying that we got to watch out for him, and this is his time. So I'm not sold that he beats Volkov. I definitely wouldn't be surprised if he does, though, because he is a very, very talented guy. Now, when it comes to betting. That's a different story, though. Yeah. When it comes to betting, I, I I'm gonna I'm gonna lean with the home team, and I'm gonna ride with my guy because I haven't I haven't quite he didn't give me a reason to not pick him. So I'm gonna go with Tom Asp- I'm gonna go with Aspinall, but I'm just saying that like I, I have a gut feeling that somehow Volkov is getting his hand raised. I just hope that my gut feeling is gas. <laughs> I mean. Like you said, it, it, it's a pick em fight on this one, too. I think this is a great matchup. I love where this is going because this is going to be either the coming out party of Tom Aspinall. Because if he wins this fight, he's getting thrown to the Wolves. Period. He's yeah. getting into the top ten. He's getting thrown to the Wolves. So if he wins this fight, this is his coming out party. But Which I think is completely doable. But Volkov isn't a former champ for no reason. He, he's good. Mm-hmm. He may not have been a UFC champ, but he was a former champ. Aspinall will probably fight Tai Tuivasa. Straight up, if he wins. I was going to say Curtis Blades, but... Curtis Blades got something lined up. Or he could get the Derek Lewis fight, because Derek Lewis... Oof. Yeah, that's, that's a rough one, though. No, that's probably... That's, no, I think that's the fight, though. That I feel like Alonso is getting touched. Could win that fight, yeah. Against Derek, uh, or yeah, Derek, the Black Bleaks. Oh my God, yo, Mo, how many, how many drinks you went for, huh? Two, two hundred. Derek Lewis, the Black Beast, 
Bro, I, mean, I just confused all his names in the one just now. You was like Derek Lewis, yeah, Black bro. Least. I called him. Oh my god, I'm done. <laughs> but yeah, Tom Aspinall, if he wins, I could see him going against Derek Lewis, Black Beast, <laughs> not Black Bleach, like <clears throat> I was gonna say. My guy, but. It's man, it's so crazy, man. Or if Volkov wins, he could get that run back with Black Beast, like straight mm-hmm. up. Cause hey, yo, he was smoking him that whole fight till like the last thirty seconds. Then he went night night. That's facts. And that's where we got the whole my balls was hot, and then he <laughs> got sponsored by Popeyes. Bro, I would love to be sponsored by Popeyes. You know what I mean? I got chicken every night. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I get them, that, uh, what's that, dirty rice? What's this called, right? That's what's called, right, dirty rice? I get that yeah. dirty rice. Them biscuits that you can't drink nothing with or you got to have something to drink. <laughs> like, ain't no way you eating that shit, like, straight up. Uh, you need some water or something, man. You better that, should be, something. That, should be a, that should be a challenge. A challenge? You're yeah, going to kill somebody. That You're going to murder eat. somebody. Eat two Popeye's biscuits with no drink. Yeah. <laughs> and how long? A whole year? What do you mean? <laughs> no, you got to do it in like an hour. In an hour? No. I Man, that, bro, I say five minutes. That sounds long <laughs> enough to where somebody be like, I can do it. You know what I'm saying? Eat two Popeye's biscuits in five minutes. Somebody's gonna be like, "Oh fuck yeah, I could do it." Hey, no, dr- no, dr- no do drink, it. No, drink. no drink, no drink, just straight up eat these two biscuits. <laughs> you know yeah, at least get some honey. No, no. here you go. Biscuits. Here you go. Just biscuits. Here you go. You can get, you can put cinnamon on it if you, you get that cinnamon. Time starts now. <laughs> <laughs> like literally, you got five minutes. I put a little <laughs> extra butter. <laughs> Bro, ain't um, no way you ain't no way you eating them two biscuits in five minutes. Oh, oh, by the way, he does have a uh, Curtis Blades is fighting Dawkins next. I know he he had, he got something lined up. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's next card. That's literally the next card. Oh yeah. You ready? Is that in, is that in, Ohio? Is that in Ohio? That's the uh, ESPN card, I believe. Not yeah, the but ESPN plus Columbus. the uh, regular ESPN card. Columbus, Ohio. You know how they always like quarterly, they throw one out there. Mm-hmm. Columbus, cuz. Columbus, Ohio. Um, That's all I got for this one. I mean, look, I, I do. Look, I want this to go a certain way. Because I want, I, I, a part of me wants to just like. Go with all the England, all the fucking uh, UK people, and they all win, and then I have a great night. All the govs. You want all, all the, the govs? govs. All like the govs. govs. Yeah. I just have this. You don't want no feeling. wankers to win. That's what no you're wankers. saying? No wankers. No. All bruvs. Oh, listen, bruv. I want all the England guys to win, but they're not all from England. You feel me? Yeah. I hope it's terrible because I can't watch any of it. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, I probably won't be able to watch it either. Um, tournament time, baby. But I'm gonna catch probably like the uh, main card, at least most of the main card. I'm gonna have to catch the recap. Maybe if it's a good enough day, I can slip some of the fights in. I'm gonna catch the main card. Yeah, four o'clock. Yeah, I'll catch the main card for sure. Prelims, I don't know, but main card. Did you say thing. day or date? Huh? Me? Yeah. I said day. I got a date with work. Lovely. That's fantastic. Argue like it's a fucking relationship. <laughs> <laughs> Sensational. <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, on that note, zip it up. Zip Wait. it out. Before we oh. zip anything, thank you to the fans. To our followers, appreciate your love. 
Uh, give us some um, reviews in the comments if you like. And make sure, if you do like this com con content, I don't know how to talk, content, you know, like and subscribe, baby. Hit us up at Ashley Knuckles on Twitter. Um, um, B Woods, that is Marky G. We both run um, Ashley Knuckles Twitter, so hit us up. Holler at your boy. So we can zip it up and zip it up now if you want to. So, what's up? Uh, on that note, zippity doo dah. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs>